Hello everybody and welcome back. I am here today to chat with you about the Robert Tonner doll. So um, this is a live video. There, They will be doing doll stuff in the background, but I know you, you don't mind that kind of thing. So the Robert Tonner doll, it is my first, this is my first venture into doll production of seeing a doll from calling Robert Tonner on the phone and saying, Robert, will you do this for us? Will you be our artist? You know, can we do this? To him saying yes to figuring out everything from the production of the doll, the design of the doll, the sketches, the cost, the timing, all of it. It's so, the, really to do something in earnest when you're doing a doll, producing a doll, uh, first of all, it's getting harder and harder to do that in the factories anyway because of like trade restrictions with China. But you really do need like a year to two years to do this. And with our doll, we got her, well, Robert, he worked quickly and diligently. And because he is such a genius at what he does, he was able to, in just a few phone calls with me and exchanging a couple pictures, do exactly what we envisioned what what we wanted and um she's wonderful now i know a lot of you are just aching and wanting to see the doll and and stuff like that the doll is almost sold out and you bought her without even seeing her which is super smart because it's Robert Tonner, so you know she's gonna be amazing. And I'm working with Robert Tonner, and you know I would never put out a product that's not gonna be amazing, so you're safe. And you guys, um, you know, you're not gonna be disappointed. But what I'm gonna do, which is what a lot of people don't normally do, is show you some pictures of the first pictures that have come from the factory. Now, this is not something people normally do, but I showed you guys the sketches of her as soon as Robert sent them to me. So I don't do things the way people normally do it, and it has worked for me so far. So the sketches are not what the doll looks like. So I have a little heart on her face because the face makeup is beautiful, but her lipstick is too bright. And I'm going to show you guys the lipstick that we chose. So... Fair warning, okay, fair warning. These pictures came from the factory in China. Now they make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. The, the product was outstanding. I, I saw the product and I was like, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Robert is still tweaking. He has already tweaked. So what you're gonna see was the first look from the factory. Oh, Stanley, can you turn that down? Thanks. Um, the first look from the factory where the, the the doll, first of all, the hair isn't styled. The doll isn't styled. When she comes out and I get her, she's going to be in a glorious photo shoot and be look totally different. But this is like the, the people over there took the picture and, and sent it so that Robert could look at colors and design and prints and things like that. So... I think you guys know that, that this is not, this is not, these are not pictures that I would ever put on a website to sell the doll or anything like that. They're small pictures and they're probably from Chinese cell phones. I don't know, but we're going to take a look so that you guys can see and get a better idea of what you're getting. Most of you that are tuning in right now or that are watching the video, you've already paid for your doll. She, you ha you've had her on layaway since July and she's already paid for and you're going to get her. And you're gonna love her. She is 16 inches tall, so that's like a nice, tall, big doll, fully articulated, fully jointed. She's just amazing, extremely limited. Uh, Joshua, a prototype, exactly, exactly. I'm gonna actually ask for the prototypes because I want to be able to show the evolution of our doll. And so this, what you're gonna see right now are the pictures of the first prototype. So this is a really big deal to be able to be in on it like this. Um, th these are the pictures I put a little hard on your face, but this is what Robert Tonner sent me. So I am going to be, we are going to be visiting Robert Tonner in, um, December and we're going to spend a couple days with him. So we're really going to talk a lot more about the doll, but anyway, okay. You're going to see the hair and you're going to see a little bit of the eyes. 
All right. So here is a picture of the hair and the the face. Now it is why it is the heart is on there, you guys, because lipstick really makes a big difference on a doll's on anybody's face. And the lipstick was way too red, so they are redoing it. Um, don't. This is not how the hair is going to be styled when you get the doll. But what right now we're looking at length. We're looking at. St we're looking at the texture. We're looking at the color. Uh, what we're looking at is, like I said, the prototype so you guys can see. So she, the body's wonderful. You you guys have seen the body in, in different uh, videos where it's just, it's jointed up here. It's jointed down there. It's jointed here, jointed there, jointed at the wrist. It has all this jointing. So it's absolutely amazing. The doll herself, I was super thrilled with her face. Her face is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get up close so you guys can see the makeup just on the eyes. She's got fabulous eyebrows. You're just gonna love it. The face is beautiful. So I don't want to show the face until we have the lipstick right. Because when I wear different shades of lipstick, it changes the whole look of my look. And it's just really important that when we show her face in full for the first time, it's going to really be perfect. And I'm gonna show you guys the lipstick that we chose. So that is the hair. Now I'm going to show you guys, now Robert, again, we chose, Robert chose the printed dress. This is not the color scheme of the dress, but they sent this because he, they wanted to see the fit and stuff like that. So Robert has tweaked the colors. And the, the purse is not going to be this color. She comes with this amazing, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's a beautiful headband, a navy blue headband that is braided. So I don't know if you saw that picture of Kate Middleton when she uh, took a recent picture with, with her family and she had that amazing bright pink braided headband. I was obsessed with it. So we are getting a navy headband that goes with this outfit. I love it. So he was able to do that. The shoes are not going to be this bright of blue. They're going to be a much darker navy and the color of the purse is going to be dark navy, but you can see the purse and it's a great daytime bag. Okay, so let's look at let's look more at the outfit itself and what you're going to get. Now, here's what's so exciting. You're going to get two purses and two headbands and fabulous high-heeled shoes. All right, let's look. Okay, so she comes in this in the beautiful day dress with underwear, and she has these two braided headbands, which I just love. Fabulous, fabulous daytime pumps, which again, they're gonna be a different color. This bag right here, the one that's the two-tone color block, I have that purse. It's one of my favorite purses by Kate Spade, and I thought it would be just fabulous for her. So that is a navy and white. Again, the colors are all gonna match up a lot better. This was the first look from the factory. So it's not the end product. And then that purse right there, so you're gonna get two different purses, is going to be a very dark navy. It's all gonna match. But Robert was super, super, super thrilled with how it looked so far. So let's show you guys like a little side view. There she is with her headband. And I just love the hair. I think the hair is wonderful. And her purse. They nailed the purse. This is exactly how my purse looks with the um, with the, sh uh, the strap right there, the longer strap, or, you, or she can hold it in her hand. And uh, I just love the color blocking on that purse. And I love that we get two purses. So looking good, looking good, looking good. Here's a, here's a closer up of the bag. I mean, with the brass hardware and everything, they just nailed it. It's so, so, so good. Now, here's the other exciting part that I haven't told you about. We are getting the opera gown that is the wonderful flowy one with the roses. I don't know the cost on that. It will be an, an additional dress for you to purchase optionally if you want. I would definitely purchase it because it's fabulous and it's looking great. Now, Robert sent them like 
25 tweaks from these photos, you guys. So it's not what it's gonna be. I think I've honed that in really, really well. Nobody does this and shows you the production photos, but I think it's really important because it's our doll for us all to be in on the process as it's happening. So here is the opera gown. Here she is wearing it, do do do. A girl, yes, I totally agree, Melissa. A girl can never have too many handbags. So don't we just love this one? The fabric is beautiful. It's got sparklies all over it and the rose print is just gorgeous. I think it's just beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you guys the sketch. So there she is in that gown. Now let me just scroll down real quick and show you guys the sketch. I know it's down here. So there is the sketch. So it's a little bit different. Robert did a little different. And because her hair, because her hair is so long, you can actually um, put it up in this wonderful bun that's, that he put it. I just love that. So that is the original sketch. You can see it's a little bit different, but a lot of that is the same. And so here is the original sketch from... Robert. So, I mean, it's looking fantastic. It's just looking so good. So the gown is wonderful. So let's go back up to the gown and what you will receive with that. So here is the gown. Yes, Robert is an amazing designer. So the gown comes with these wonderful shoes. Look at these strappy sandals and the way the, the, the strap comes down like that. I would just, the thing about it is I would totally wear anything and everything that Grace is going to wear. So it's just, it looks so sweet and I love the fabric. So here she is wearing it. Doesn't she look chic and ready to go? Just gorgeous. And don't you guys, what do you think about the hair? I just think the hair is wonderful. I wish that my hair looked like this, but I've just, I'm kind of a more shorter hair gal because I just can't grow it that long. So again, that is what she comes on. You get all of this but it will be different colors and fit a little bit different. He tweaked a lot of the way it fits her. And that is a different colored bag. But it's just fun to accessorize and you can never have too many purses. There's the shoes. Those are fabulous shoes. Yes, Marcy, I love the embroidery on the dress. I just love it. So... It is total Kate Middleton hair, you guys. I sent, I sent so many pictures. I sent, I don't know, probably, I didn't send tons, but I sent like eight pictures of Kate Middleton of where I just really loved her hair and her look. And the hair on this doll is fabulous. And he's not made this mold with long brown hair, dark brunette hair before. So, um... She's just really a wonderful doll. Let's chat her lipstick. So the lipstick is, uh, I thought she could have like a red lip, but it made her look too, it was just too dressy. I don't, I don't know. Um, I only wear red lipstick very, very, very rarely. And it's like if I'm attending a gala and I wanted her to look in her daytime look more approachable. So I'll show you the lipstick that we're, the look that we're kind of going for. Oh shoot, let me let me turn this, see if I can get this away. Do do do. Ah, hang on. Hang on. Let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. What did I just do, you guys? Can you see that? Oh, that's awful. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let me turn this around. <laughs> okay. So here's the lipstick. So here's the lip. Oh, here's the back. I think I showed you guys that before. Um, so, I mean, it's just great. So here's the lip. Let me know if you guys agree. I just think a nice kind of peachy, not nude lip would be great. So this is what we sent. This is what we're going for right here. Whoops. I don't know why that didn't open. She has kind of a funny look on her face, but this is the makeup that I just love. So that kind of lip, that kind of makeup, we're definitely gonna need some pearl earrings. And one of the things that is exciting is the kit that Linda is working on includes a pearl necklace. And um, I don't even know, uh, I'm really excited to see Linda's design for her because she is doing a Grace uh, kit. So it's gonna be really, really, really good. So that was really weird. I think we can do like all different 
um, kinds of things. Oh, look at that. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I'm usually not a big fan of, um, of doing that, but that's kind of funny. See, you'd think I'd know how to figure all this stuff out. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing. For those that asked, it is not too late to order, but I have um, less than 20 dolls left. And I also increased my order. So we will know more about the timing very soon. We're not in control. We are not in control of this. It's uh, the, fab the factory has never let Robert down, but he's looking at, because they have to get them made and then they have to get them here. And so he's, and, and the shipping is like thousands of dollars to get them by air. Um, the whole thing is just, it's a whole thing. I, I went through this just a little bit with Helen Kish and now we're really learning and figuring it out on a much bigger scale. So I'm really excited about it. We have, um, like I said, about 20 dolls left. If you've already ordered yours, fantastic. You're just going to love the doll. We're going to have so much fun. And we are visiting Robert the first weekend of December. Um, I believe it's the 6th and 7th. And so we're going to have a great time. I was supposed to visit Greg Ortiz this weekend. And we had, the, the two of us had several um, things that happened that that we, for, for both of us, it was just best that we rescheduled. So the weekend after Robert Tonner is when we're going to go visit Greg Ortiz. So I will put that out in an email to everybody so you guys know a little bit more what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these pictures. If you're in the Grace fan group that's on Facebook, I'm going to post the pictures in there so you can download them and dissect them and look closer and just have fun with it. So the replay is going to be on my page all day. And I will also put this video on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you love it. And we're going to be back with some more of what's happening. I'm going to show you guys real quick because there is a hat explosion happening. And, well, it's not quite an explosion. I thought it was going to be worse. I thought it was going to be more of an explosion. But we're, we're trying to find now the perfect bonnet. So there's just so many layers of what we're doing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Linda's just cruising right along over here. Yep. Linda, is there anything that you can tell our viewers, because we're on the subject of Robert Tonner, about your Robert Tonner, let's move into the light so we don't look there, okay. or, or out of the light, I don't know, um, about your Robert Tonner sewing class and what you're developing for that. Um, I'm really excited about it because it's, um, the dress I picked was Kate Middleton's. And it's a very sleek um, pattern or design. It has little pearl buttons on it. Aww. And we're, um, we're making them. They're half buttons, you know, half pearls. And it's real light pink. And then also with that, we're going to have a purse and a hat that is complements her yeah. Attire, and then we're going to have shoes. So we're going to have all of this in a kit, in two different kits. Cool. So it's going to be fun. It's um, I'm trying to simplify the pattern, so it's just, it's going to be lined, completely lined, so there'll be very little hand sewing, but um, the opening is going to be quite different for everybody, but it's sort of like a coat jacket. So oh, it's going to be yeah. fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I've I've seen the design. I've seen the dress, and it's marvelous. So you guys will love it. Again, all the kits, all the all the kits are optional, but uh, they they're always so well done when they're done by Linda Wall. So we are excited about all the possibilities, and we hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have ordered the doll, thank you. I I am excited. Are you excited to get your doll? I am. I, I can't wait to get my real doll. The real doll. Yeah, she has a she has one that's um, that Robert sent so that we can um, design the clothes around the body. But nope, the, the first look is gorgeous. Have I shown you the first look no. from Robert? Oh, no. OK. So after we get off this video, I'm going to show Linda the pictures that Robert just sent over. So okay. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. All right. Bye, bye. everybody.